Hello, men, women, and sorrows, and welcome back to Let's Play Tokyo Mirage Sessions, where last episode, we were running around doing more requests for people. Don't quite remember what requests we did exactly, but it was a lot of running around. Also, yeah, we also talked to these guys. But yeah, Illusionary Shibuya. But yeah, we gotta help these guys out. Actually, I'm losing my mind. Okay. Did we talk to A about this? I don't know. We'll talk to her anyway. Point is, last episode we did more requests. Today, we're going to try to finish up as many requests as possible, as well as move on to uh, story. I think we only have two requests left. This request and a request I saw at Taboa Rooftop we've got to accept and then do. Okay. Since we're already on the map, we'll go over to the rooftop and accept that other request. Maybe they'll interconnect or something. Hopefully we can finish these last two requests off today, and we can start moving on to side quests, the interesting stuff. Alright, you had something you want to talk about? Are you the fortune teller girl again? Itsuki, what have you been doing lately? You've been showing up late to class these days. You stressed out? I just share some of my youth and energy with you in your time of need. And you help me out again, right? Yep, lucky spot number three. <laughs> Thanks. Nothing new this time, just do as the fortune tells you to, and then come back, come report back to me. No no business. Oh, but step back, you know the drill is dangerous. Mm. Voila, I see it! Your health still away here, but it shall not be in peril. Hasten onward, a surprise is waiting for you to the south. Or I guess you want this quick fix, as where the good stuff is sitting die board at the photography exhibit. That's all there is to it. Like if you exhibit diving board. Well, there's one thing about photography, it's probably over at uh, Shibuya Illusionary, so. Which is where we need to go anyway! Not bad at all. So I continue to adjust my mic in the middle of a video. That's a habit I've really gotta get out of. Okay, so we gotta go to two places anyway. Same place for these two requests. Might as well get ahead on them. Should be, oh, the guy's actually not too far away. Uh, block 2F North, maybe? No, I think we went past it. Well, diving board photography exit. Maybe trick to find. Here? I don't know. More or less deal with the thing we can deal with first. Hello! You have something I need. That's the Mirage Soul and Keys Performa. Let's go. I think I said I was going to avoid fighting this guy because I thought I might be a little on the level, but eh. We'll yellow it. I have the ultimate weapon, sharp as a spear. I mean, it is a spear, so. Worm slither. Okay. This could end horribly. Nope. Why, Spessa? That's our ability coming into effect. Ooh, nice job, Amori. Blocking hits for allies. It's a good ability. Ouch! Thank you again! Uh, he may be resistant, but I'm still gonna full throttle this guy because I need to throw everything I've got at them. Yeah, thank you for warning at the level game. 
Well, at least one of them's dead. That makes things easier. Chop this guy. You can use something to heal. Ouch! That's a critical hit. Ooh, nice endurement. Knights of Resistance Sword, which doesn't help. And that does nothing. Alright. We'll still Worm Slayer it. Wait, that's not a dragon enemy. That explains a lot. Uh, it's gonna get tumble off on his turn. Well, thank God the enemy AI was stupid. There we are. On your feet, good sir. Oh, yes, I think we get a block and hit Fritzky. Not so much Toma, though. Let's try Poison's Cure on this one. Nice, Poisoned. I mean, that one's gonna go down easier. I can focus my attention on this one for now. Boom! Another one bites the dust. And we'll go with Fang Breaker, just to lower its offense. Dang, that poison does a lot of damage. Yeah, he's going downtown and really around. Let's see Mamori a bit. Then hamstring this guy. Ooh, are we getting an ablib? Yes, we are. Raging Stampede. This should help. Please knock him down a bit more. Haven't seen this move in a while. And yeah, nice session to finish it off. Nice job. Alright, a little bit more of a difficult fight, but got through all the same. Well, that's a good word of warning. I'm going to try these anymore until I'm leveled up. But speaking of levels, I almost got a new skill. Ooh, Axe Thunder, that's going to be nice. Level 36, 7 HP, 3 EP, 1 speed. Meh. That's not a very good level up. Uh, 13 HP, 3 EP, 1 strength, 1 skill, 1 speed, 1 defense. That is better. And the Mori gets 7 HP, 2 EP, 1 strength, 1 resistance. Meh. Not the best either. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. It's he's Great Lord now. Yeah, we're gonna throw Axe Thunder in there. The Moye. And then Mirage perform was good. I think it's time we switch Memori out for someone. Elnor, take the stage. I'm sure, switch to her actually. I was thinking straight. <laughs> now to solve the out of my face. Ah, uh, you're not who I want to deal with today. Bye. Okay, so diving board by the photography exhibit. I would say I go with this one way at a time, but you know what? I don't want to spend all day on this, so I'm just going to use the internet. I will be right back. Okay, so supposedly what we're looking for is over in the second section where we have the three ledges we can jump off of. The middle ledge will lead us there. I know this whole piece is going to try to be blind, but honestly, with things like this, I could care less. 
I don't want to spend this, the entirety of this episode trying to find this thing. So I'm just rather going to move on. Ledges. This is the part where I can't remember where it is. At least I have some time, a hell of a time finding it. Oh, hi there. I don't need you. Oh, hello there. Almost ran into that. Now, where are the three ledges? That's gonna be the thing I'm gonna spend the entire episode finding. Oh, lord. Maybe down here? I'm mean, clicking my mouth and you can point me in the right direction. Goodbye. That are you. Hey, play record. Up here. Oh, God. 20 minutes later. Okay, I think at long last, yep, we're finally at the point. Here we are. Here's the lucky spot, man. You know, I was joking when I said the best of this part me, me trying to find a spot. Turns out I was looking in the complete wrong area, so I had to go back to the area we were initially, originally at, hunting the Mirage down to find this point, as people were know about yelling at me in the comments. Alright, treasure key. Not bad. Yeah, I guess Kane's fortune light. After all, I should report back. Alright. Thankfully for you guys, all that's gonna be edited out, which is about five to ten minutes of me just wandering around, running away from battles. Yeah, I think we have a spell to get back to, uh... Yeah, we have a support spell. Let's just use that. Save ourselves an item. Well, one could argue we can get rid of the items so we have less space in our inventory that's being used up. Meh. Alright. Oh, wait, we gotta report back. We gotta check the thing out and make sure everything's right. Alright. Let's just wrap these requests up and then, uh. Which side quest do we wanna do? Let's do Eleanor. She's the only person we haven't done a side quest with yet, so we'll start with her. Hey, your fortune came true. <laughs> Welcome back, so how'd it go? Uh, accurately predicted the fort uh, fortunate outcome. Success! Again! I can totally feel like red with the occult starting to bulk up. Tell me, can the psychic man- the psychic man- what? Psychic mancer? It's not a word. Alright, see you in class. And... Why do you keep giving me kitty candy? Alright. Now let's go over to... Harajuka. And I'll check on the comedy duo. Hey, you get your funny parts back yet? Uh, the purchasing their skit. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, sorry, I was speaking in dog. Uh, that's cat. You're speaking cat. And what's with all the swear words? There are kids here. Speaking of kids, do you know that children's story you just tell? The one about the guy who carried an axe and had a dog? Uh, oh, no, no, you're mixing up a bunch of fairy tales. Kinda think of it though, I'd love to hear that story. Looks like he's okay now, I should report this day. Uh... Well, let's see how the audience is carrying though. The person from Ash was like a phoenix, can't wait to see them perform. Alright. And problems have been solved. Oh, there we should get a soft drink. Because that is a full HP and EP restore. And it's pretty... Eh, comparatively twice. Problem solved. Good work at sea, according to Adakura's blog. And Nikki is back to his normal sharp tongue self. Thanks to her, I was also... I was able to just sit back here and sit my tea. Which is also hard work now that I think about it. <sighs> of course, then me had to do all the important work. I'm going to just sit back taking drinks. Uh, that was a joke. You're supposed to say something back at me. Alright then. 
Thank you for your hard work. I don't know if I hear any suspicious boomers. Alright, and that is done. Get a drink. Let's get the Emerita Shouter. Shout Shouter? Wow. Can't speak and I can't read. Alright. And is that it? I'm checking my map one final time to see if there are any requests left. And we are clear, ladies and gentlemen, and assorted others. So, without further ado, let's head over to Shibuya Station and begin Elnor's side quest. And we'll just see yeah, We'll probably just begin it and then end the episode, continue it on next time, because we're at 22 minutes recording, but I know about half of that's going to be cut out, so probably only around 12 minutes or so. I don't know, if it's short enough, we might do all of Elnor's side quest. I thought that was a suspicious person. It turns out it's just, uh... You know, what is this? This is a, a parking meter? Traffic light? Power power switch or something? Oh, there it is. I thought it was a cloaked man, so... Let's see how my freaking eyesight is. Alright, Elnor, let's begin your side quest. Finally. Itzuki. There you are, Itzuki. I know it's sudden, but, um... Do you have some time? I want your opinion on something. Read chat, fall... What? Okay. Side story has been accepted. If I can help out, I'll glad you help. Right, that's quite good of you. So, um... It's kind of awkward talking about this in the middle of the street. I know, the classroom set. Wait, we have a classroom set? There's a classroom feeling studio we always use. Let's go there. Ooh, no location. And she has just teleported away. And new text messages. We're in the classroom fill set. You better hurry, Itsuki. Alright, moving on. Oh, I can just do that again. Better go to the classroom film set. We shall indeed. See what the heck is going on. You know, I don't think how that I don't see how this is any more private than the street. I mean we got cameras all over the place. What do you need? I got a lot on my plate right now. Sorry, but you come back later. Uh, right now I'm working on something. Sure. So, what did you want to talk about? Uh, well, uh, I need you to, uh... To, uh, we could go on, uh, that... Uh, sorry, I should check this. Oh, we got a phone call. Echo, what is this? Itsuki? I assume that right about now, Ellie is <laughs> stuttering DDD like a DJ. Blushing bright red and stuttering DD like a DJ. <laughs> what is she? The cameras! She's watching through the cameras! Damn it! We're being spied on! That, that is, she's a fortune teller. Yes, she's doing exactly that. I'll speak for our shy girl, Ellie, and explain your mission this time, okay? You two need to go on a date. What? What? And that is literally what Itsuki just said. Well, Ellie was in a bit of a pickle. She's, she, she's appearing in this TV drama called Dandelion in Love. But she doesn't get how a high school girl who's, lo who's in love with the idea of love... I uh, love with the I... What? Love with the idea of love with the ideal of love. Huh? I get why she doesn't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> love with the idea of love. I mean, I guess you're in love with being in love. Makes about a sense of being afraid of being afraid, but sure, whatever. I'll go with it. So it wouldn't be the best way to figure that out with going on an actual date. That being said, good luck being her partner. Do I get a choice in this or not? Apparently I'm... Well, I'm setting the only other... Apparently the only guy in the... Well, I guess I'm the one, because the only other guy in the company is Toma. And he's already had his practice, so... Uh, if you had come here just a side... A, a mission sooner, Ellie, you two could have gone on a date, and you could have both gotten your practice in. That would have been perfect. Alas, timing was not so. Uh, Miss Maeko? The... the A date? H how did you know that? Um, Miss Mako just sent a topic. What's this all about? 
There's nothing about it. It's just... Uh, it's just as she must have put it. This is only to dial in my character in, you hear? I'm just training. If you get the wrong idea from this, I'll make you my next archery target. Actually, do you mean to help me train for this? That's a question. Uh, you called me to do this. <laughs> uh, leave it to me, or you called me to do this. <laughs> uh, I honestly don't know which wise or pro. Thus, see, this is always the problem. I always, I'm always tempted to pick the smart ass answers, and then I'm always tempted to pick the good, an the correct answers. Uh. I'm putting so much thought into a freaking dialogue choice that probably doesn't even matter in the long run. Uh, we'll just go with normal answer for now. Leave it to me. That's quite the confidence. Alright, I'll train you in the ways of Hollywood. How does training me help you? Now that's settled, let's go all out. We need a research first. Let's read some magazines and make a plan. Hey, Ellie. In that moment, Itsuki realized he probably screwed up. What are you doing, Itsuki? Hurry up and come where I am. Where's that? Didn't I tell you someplace I can read magazines? Why are we going there separately? It'd be a scandal if someone were to think we're on a real date, you know. Anyway, I'll be waiting. Uh, all right, moving on. Well, she never did tell. Oh, my TV, my uh, not my TV, my uh, computer monitors blacked out. Well, she never did tell us exactly where she was going, so we'll find that out next episode. So we've been roped into a, we've been roped into affairs we are likely not prepared for, but we are going to do it anyway because the plot demands it. Well, actually, because the side quest demands it. Anywho, next time we're gonna finish. This side quest of Ellie, and then move on to other people's side quests. And then, uh, hopefully, in another couple episodes, we'll get back on the main story. But until then, remember this grenade, pick up the controller, and have a good time. Peace out, peoples.